Hello friends, hope you are gaining a bit of knowledge from my videos. My today's video is on a very simple topic which is on boiler mounting. These are fittings that are directly mounted onto the pressure part of the boiler and are carefully designed to perform their functions properly for proper functioning of the boiler. So let's begin with the video and study about all the mountings. So boiler mountings which are mounted on the boiler are safety wall, two gauge glass, water level indicator, main steam stop wall, air vent cock, feed check wall, scum blow down wall, bottom blow down wall, sample water cock, boiler feed water regulator, low water level alarm, drain wall, pressure gauge connection, thermometer, suit blower master steam wall and chemical dosing wall. So these are the boiler mountings and from uh, this we have already covered boiler safety wall and water level indicator in detail on my previous videos so you can uh, refer to those videos and rest mountings we will cover in this video so let's begin main steam wall the function of this top wall is to control the flow of the steam from within the boiler and to stop it completely when required a stop wall or a junction wall is used to regulate the flow of steam from the boiler. If two or more boilers are fitted, supplying steam to common line, stop wall on each boiler must be screwed down non it wall. Air vent cock Vent cock is installed on the upper part of the boiler cell to vent air from the steam drum during starting of the boiler. When fitting the boil, when when filling the boiler with water, these vents are uh, came handy during boiler shutdown as it lets fresh air to enter the boiler drum to avoid collapse under vacuum pressure. A vent wall can also be used to dump moist steam at the start of ri steam uh, uh, rising. Feed check wall. When the water level of the boiler, water in the boiler falls, it's brought back to specified level by supplying additional water called feed water. Feed check walls are fitted to give final control over entry of feed water into the boiler. The pressure inside the boiler will be high, therefore, the pressure of the feed water has to be raised by the pump before it fed into the boiler. That is why they must be screwed down non-return so that in the event of loss of feed pressure, boiler water cannot blow back into the feed line. Scum blow down wall. They are mounted on the steam drum having an internal fitting in the form of shallow pan situated just at the normal water level which allows the blow down of floating impurities oil forming etc from the water surface the wall discharge into the blue line these walls are uh, two in number and two in number and mounted in series a bottom blow down wall is used to empty the boiler either completely for maintenance purpose or partially for water treatment of the boiler when chloride level in the boiler is on a higher side or to reduce the density and blow down sediments or mud collected in the lower part of the boiler. They usually consist of two walls mounted in series. The reason for mounting two walls in series is so that the first wall must be full open before the second wall can be cracked open. In this way, seating of the first wall is protected from damage, so reducing the risk of leakage when blowdown walls are closed. 
these blue down walls discharge into the blue down line leading to subside discharge wall then we have sampling water cock these are fitted to the boiler drum so that water samples can be collected at any time for feed water analysis at high pressure it is necessary to provide some means of preventing flash off taking place as the pressure over the sample is reduced to atmospheric pressure this is done by passing the water through the cooling coil which reduces its temperature to a value below 100 degrees celsius then we have water sorry boiler feed water regulator the water level in the boiler is critical if it is too low damage may result from overheating and if too high priming can occur so automatic feed regulator are they forfeited to control the flow of water into the boiler and maintain the water level to desired value they are fitted in the feed line before the main feed check hole they take feedback from the flow rate of the steam and normal water level boiler water level from the drum and accordingly opens the feed wall to control the water level in the boiler drum then we have low or high water level alarm the classification society demands that this should be fitted to reduce the risk of damage in the event of loss of water in the boiler due to burst tube or failure of the feed water supply high water level alarms are there to provide avoid uh, priming in the boiler then we have drain wall they are fitted to the header so that boiler can be completely drained they must not be used for blow down purpose then pressure gauge connection these are fitted to the steam drum to provide the necessary pressure reading in addition suitable connections must be provided for pressure sensing point for automatic combustion control system then your thermometer thermometer pocket must be provided in the superheater head header for fitting the fitting of either direct or remote reading thermometer then we have suit blower master stop steam wall these are mounted on the superheater outlet header to ensure the superheater is not starve of steam while blowing tubes in some cases two walls are fitted in series with a drain wall between them in order to prevent steam leaking into the suit blower steam supply line when uh, these are not in use and last is chemical dosing wall uh, these are mounted on the steam drum to enable feed treatment chemical to be injected directly into the boiler so this is uh, this was a video on boiler mountings hope you have enjoyed and got some knowledge so friends if you can tell me in the comments down below about which of the mountings gave you most trouble during your handling of boiler operations that will be very good and will be fun hope you have enjoyed thank you